Hello everyone. Um, so about a month ago, like about a month a month ago, my uncle and his family, Ian and Bobby, was tested positive for COVID for COVID nineteen. They are back now, and we are making new episodes for you right now. But I just want to tell everyone to stay safe, stay home, and stay safe. If if we do that, so we got to stay together as a nation for these difficult times that we are in right now. If we do this together, we'll worry me it'll be sick again and we can go back to normal. Thank you and stay home and stay safe. I love you. Take your tongue out. Now what does that do? So I'm, it's called thermal tactile stim. It's lemon and it's frozen. Okay. So what I'm trying to do. Lemon on there. So it's just lemon flavored. Okay. So that it doesn't taste like the cotton. But what I'm trying to do is rub the sides of his tongue so he can start to realize, feel it. Yeah. I, he told me, I knew, because as soon as I did it, he was like, Ah, oh, that's cold. So I know there's feeling in the side of his tongue. Okay. So I'm just basically trying to wake up the muscle. Feel it, feel it. And then eventually, I'm hoping that with waking it up, like, I'm going to move it a little. And can he move his tongue a little over to get mm -hmm. it? Um, now that we've kind of woken up the tongue. Good. Open. Tongue out. So you can do this with, um, I actually can give you some of these that you can keep in the freezer. I will put, can I put like lemon juice on it? And then... They already have lemon on it, but you could oh, make you could buy drink. them with the lemon. Yeah. So these are already. You don't think that's normal. Uh, these are already lemon, and oh. we just stick them in the freezer. And there's three, and I think yeah, actually, that's huh? <laughs> just ignore them. What are you talking about? Even just rubbing all around his mouth. <laughs> Keep going, Maurice. Okay, here's Marissa. Sunday morning, icing the cake, the cupcakes that she made last night. She mixed them all by herself, put them in the cup containers, and today she's icing them. Way to go, Marissa. You do a great job. Look at her. She's like a real pro. We're going to have to put her in a cooking contest, right? She chose blue for the icing. 
And what else did you do yesterday? Did you make something else? Um, oh, today you made Ubla. A gooky old mess out of cornstarch and water, right? And what else did you make? Something else? Um, oh. That hair thing. <clears throat> your makeup. Yes, she did my makeup last night. Put it all over me. My face, my eyes, my Jolina. lips. My lips look like Jolina. What's her name? Angelina, Jolina, or whatever her name is. Um, Kylie Jenner. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> oh, God. But she's doing a great job. Look at her. She got up. Already that's her second box she made, putting it in a box, and you go, Marissa. Are you going to put those little tabs on them too later? The little? Yes, Okay. Look how good she does. Sprinkle, sprinkle, little star. So what else, Marissa? Tell me what you're going to do later. Well, can take some cupcakes in there for your family, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe you can ride your bike or something. Yes. You want to wash Daddy's car? Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. Remember you used to do it last year? Okay. How many more cupcakes do you have? Um, I think. Wow. Well. Okay, say goodbye to everybody. Hi. Now how do I turn this off? Just hit the red. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pops. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Wish. Yay! Thank you very much. Yeah! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hi, Pop-Pop. We're at Pancake Place and they have free red, white, and blue pancakes, but the kids want to send you a message. Thank you for your service. I salute you. I salute you. I thank you for your service. I love you. I love you. You no, gotta it, go down, honey. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Papa. Hello, everyone. How are you? Good. Thank you. Yeah, it's a new menu. Oh, they have special daily features. Hi, precious to you. Hi, Boo. Hi, Boo. I don't see her. Oh, yeah. I never see her face. I always see her from a distance. She's probably not even home. No, it doesn't look like she's home, though. Attention, class. I'm about to take attendance. When I call your name, I need you to raise your hand and say present. I need both. One or the other don't work for me. I need to hear and I need to see your hand up in the air. All right. Timothy. Here. Demarcus. Here. Susan. No Susan? Oh, no, oh she's, she's skipping gone. today because there's a sub. I know I know how this goes. So I'm going to go ahead and mark her absent. No tardies today. No tardies. She's flat out absent. Great. Ronnie. <laughs> Here. <laughs> are, are you Ronnie? Is that Ronnie? I don't know why everybody's laughing. Is that Ronnie? Yeah, that's okay, Ronnie. Okay, because your name better be Ronnie. Is he even in this class? Okay, he better be in this class. Daniel. Present. 
Does anyone know where um, y'all teacher keeps the projector remote? Because I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it anywhere. It's usually in the second drawer. Oh, in the desk? No, there's a second drawer under the, there. Yes. There's a second drawer. Okay, okay. And um, what time do y'all go to lunch? What time is lunch around here? About uh, 1230. All right, all right, 1230. That's nice. That's nice. All right, so I can go ahead and go around 1235. All right. Um... What time is this class period over? I didn't really get a schedule or nothing like that. Class is over at like 2. 2? Okay, okay. That's great. 2 p.m., that's great, that's great. Does she, does she usually let y'all sit together? Yeah, we do this all, doing the, a time, lot of all the time. Yep. Okay. Did y'all, I don't think y'all teacher left y'all an assignment. Because I was tricking and she didn't leave anything. So... Good thing I brought something for you all to do. So, who was that? Um, Timothy in the red shirt. Yes, I, I've been here a while. I'm starting to learn your names now. Starting to learn your names. Come on up here and um, pass out this assignment to everybody. And then I'm going to make sure, I'm going to make sure that your teacher takes this as a grade. So, don't think that you're just not going to do it because I'm the sub. Okay. Come on up here, Timothy, Mr. Mr. Timothy, and pass these pass on out to everybody. Thank you very much. Excuse, excuse me, class. Excuse me. I need everyone's attention. I am Mr. Brown. I am going to be your teacher for the next five or six days while your teacher is gone. But all, all of this, all of that laughing in the back, yeah, that's not going to work for me. All, all that being on your phone, that's not going to work for me either. I don't know how your teacher runs things when she's here. But while I'm here, this is my class. What did he say? You will show up here on time, every day, ready to work. Ready to work. And if you have anything else in mind, you can go ahead and leave now. Get your stuff and leave now. And I'll mark you absent for the next five or six days. Anybody want to go ahead and go? No? Okay, that's what I thought. You, sit up straight. What's your name? Oh, yeah, that's Timothy in the back. What? Timothy? Oh, yeah, she left a note about you, Timothy. Yeah, she left a note about you. Mm-hmm. Hi, guys, it's Bobby. I wanted to have a little talk about that. I'm going to talk about, like, why 2020 will be the year we will never forget. In January 2020, the first 25 days for me were good for me until on January 26, I discovered COVID-19 on Instagram. I and mean, I shared it with my sister, and I thought it wasn't going to get to the United States. But over the past two months, February and March, and February, it started to get into some states like Chicago, oh, and some others. Um, and it, it was very horrible. And But at least I get to see my friends through these through the first three months. But in, in the mid of February, school had to close down. And I had to do this horrible online work my teachers did. It, for for me he, that I have to do who like until June which was which was horrible and I hey and I and we are now reporting all schools closed until further notice. I'm Nona, and I know this doesn't look like a, the normal show. We've been having, a, you know, everybody's been so upset with this virus, and and I I know we all need to get this off our minds. So I hope this helps, and God bless all you mothers and fathers, and God bless all those precious precious children. Okay. When June came, I thought I was going to be done until I had to do, like, summer school. But it was all right. It went by quick. Like, and on July 28th, 2020, Mom Silicato, my great-great-grandmother, my grandmother's mother, passed away hey, due to her old age. Come over here. Mama. 
I just want to say happy birthday to the best grandma in the world, and she made me really happy along with Marissa and Mark and my entire family. And thanks so much for helping me around. You are the kindest woman that whoever walked on the planet. Hi, Nona. Oh, hi, precious. How are you? Sad, aren't you, because of what happened? Oh, yeah. Yeah, really having a tough time. Mm -hmm. But you kids make it so much better when mm -hmm. I see your face. It's okay. When your dad was young, I used to tell him every time I saw his face, he made me smile. So, she loved you kids too. She's out of she's out of pain. She's fine. It's from the nightmares finally over yeah. for her. Yeah. And. Nikki's birthday, my brother's birthday. We just, it was our first time him celebrating his birthday along with my sister and mother's birthdays in quarantine. No one around except just the five of us. And then I, at least I got my braces off. But then we had to go, everything didn't work out well for me for school because I had to start before Labor Day. One week before Labor Day. It was annoying, and and the school decided to open up all the schools just to put everyone at risk for to get COVID, which is very selfish. And I'm glad I stayed home from COVID. Cause September through October I went there, but then I decided to stay home, and my mom said I'd stay home, and I agreed with her. And November, November was the 2020 election. I was so scared that I, I don't want to talk about him, but I'm glad that Biden won. And, and I think he's going to get the U.S. back on track. And December, December was not well for me at all. And Nikki was always like clapping so loud. And then I realized dad had COVID and I couldn't see my grandmother or my grandfather or not even my cousins. And it was no good. And I wanted to sleep, but Nikki never lets anyone sleep. Like it makes me so upset. But there were some good times that happened this year. I won some bocce games, my 17th birthday that came, Biden winning the election, and Christmas. Christmas was a good day for me, even though, oh, me and mom still had COVID. And after Christmas, I had, we, we went to get COVID tested again and realized we were both negative. And as, the, and as 2020 came by to an end, I was so happy. And, and I just really hope this year will be a much more better year. The reason why I'm doing this is because on January 26, 2020, yeah, I discovered the virus on Instagram. See you later. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Bye. You know, I forgot to say uh, to all the veterans, you know, I know a lot. My dad was in the uh, war and uh, I know people in World War II and in Korea. Charlie was in Korea. And um, uh, Vietnam, the worst war in the world, where nobody got any credit. So I mean to tell you all, to all our veterans, thank you, thank you so much for serving. And thank you so much for making our lives better. Thank you. Thank you for and watching. To, and to Cindy, Cindy on... Uh, on the view, and I love you, Zoe. I love you, Whoopi, and I love you, uh, uh, what's her name, the Italian one. Mm -hmm. I love you, all. But Cindy uh, uh, McCain, is her name Cindy? I don't know. Well, I don't know. But anyway, you know who I mean. You love your father, and nobody loves their father more than I love my daddy. And I'll tell you, I know what you felt like. And when that Trump said that, I wanted to mash him. Mm -hmm.